Did you know that you can download multiple versions of OBS and run them at the same time? If you didn't know, I'll show you how to do it in today's video. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. The first things first, what you need to do is go to this link that will be linked down in the description below. That's the OBS download website. So you'll simply reach that and then download a specific version of OBS. That way you can run it multiple times for whatever reason you'll need it. So if you need it, for example, for a specific recording, specific stream, whatever, you can run infinite numbers of OBSs as long as your PC can handle it, obviously. So what you need to do over here is go to download zip. You want to download a zip file, which is basically a portable version of OBS. So you click download zip, it will download this zip version, and then I'll show you what you need to change for it to actually work. So once that's downloaded, you simply unzip it and then you will see these folders right over here. So for you to be able to actually run OBS multiple times, you'll need to go into bin right here and then 64 bit. And then over here, you'll see OBS 64.exe. So you need to change this to a portable version of the portable version for it to work. So what we need to do now is actually choose the OBS64.exe, right click it and then send it to desktop as a shortcut. We want to create a shortcut that way we can change a certain thing for us to be able to run it in the portable mode. I've moved the shortcut to the new folder just because it's simpler to show it this way. I just need to change a certain thing, which I can do by right clicking this file, going into properties right here, and then you'll see the target of where the actual file is located. So it's located in obs64.exe, obviously in downloads. So that's fine. If you want to change it, change it somewhere else before that, and then go into over here and then add a dash dash portable at the end. Once you click apply, your version will be portable and that way you can run it without any problems so you add space one space and then dash dash portable apply and that's it we can actually rename this to obs portable just so it's simpler and nicer looking and now if you run it it's going to run a new version of obs and will give you the auto configuration wizard so as you can see, this clearly works. If you wanted to do another version, like I said, you can do the same thing. I just added a one at the end of this OBS Studio zip file. I unzipped it, same thing. You go into 64, you send this as a shortcut to your desktop, you move it to the same folder or whatever else and just add the portable and it will be working. So as you can see right here, we do the same thing, properties. We just add a space, dash dash portable click apply and now you have this OBS portable which is the old one that we set up and now you have the new portable if you run it it will do the auto configuration wizard and now you have two versions of OBS running simultaneously and that's how you can run multiple versions of OBS without any issues obviously keep in mind that your PC hardware will be working more the more OBSs you have opened up if you guys like this video, make sure to drop the like. It would mean the world to me. And if you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. If you want to see more of my OBS guides, make sure to check this video right over here. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and have a good one. Bye-bye.